Barthame is to be classified as possibly carcinogenic. Sweeteners used in in sweeteners arouse considerable controversy. The last of them concerns the popular aspartame. Due to the decision to be announced by one of the agencies operating within the World Health Organization, WHO. According to her, there are grounds for considering aspartame, possibly carcinogenic. Aspartame was developed by James M. Schlatter in 1965 and has been touted for many years as a great sugar substitute, a golden weight loss aid. This compound is 150 to even 200 times sweeter than sugar, while its calorific value is close to zero in concentrations that give a satisfactory impression of sweetness. That is why it has gained a lot of popularity among nutritionists. This agent is present in many food products, e.g. in ice cream, sweet drinks, confectionery and chewing gum. Aspartame as a food additive, has been recognized as safe by many organizations dealing with food safety and its impact on health. However, according to the WHO International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC. The popular sweetener may increase the risk of developing cancer. IARC. Based on the results of about 1,300 studies is likely to announce that aspartame can cause cancer, Reuters reports. However, commentators focus on the controversial decisions taken so far by this WHO body based on a not entirely transparent classification system. These decisions concerned the recognition of individual substances as potentially carcinogenic. The problem with the classification used by the IARC seems to be largely that it does not refer to the amount of a given substance that a person is able to consume without detriment to health. Attempts to estimate such a quantity are undertaken by other institutions. For example, another WHO agency, the Joint Committee on Food Additives, JECFA. According to JECFA, 
We can safely consume up to 40 milligrams of aspartame per kilogram of body weight per day. In turn, according to the available research results, a person weighing about 70 kilograms would not be harmed by drinking 13 cans of Diet Coke. And it should also be emphasized that we are talking about a situation where excessive consumption of aspartame would pose any threat to our health, not to mention even causing cancer. In general, IARC considers substance to be carcinogenic, possibly carcinogenic, possibly carcinogenic, and not classifiable. The assessment is based on studies conducted on humans, tissues and animals. And as already mentioned, the amount of the substance is not taken into account, only whether it is able to cause cancer at all. This issue is quite well illustrated by the fact that, according to this classification, asbestos, tobacco and processed meat have been recognized as carcinogenic. On the other hand, glyphosate, the key ingredient of Roundup, was considered to be probably carcinogenic. This means that in this case the evidence is inconclusive as to whether it is capable of causing cancer in humans. On the other hand, Aspartame is supposed to be considered carcinogenic. Along with night shift work or electromagnetic waves emitted by mobile phones. It is also interesting that the aforementioned JECFA is also currently analyzing data on the effects of aspartame on the human body, and is to announce the results of these analyzes on October 14th which is the same day when IARC is to announce its decision.